garage door playwrights intensive interview. Uh, take one. I am Lizzie McCabe, and I am a co-founder of Garage Theater Ensemble. So we founded this company uh, in the summer of 2020. Um, it was actually brought about because of the pandemic and kind of quarantine. And uh, my colleagues and I felt like we wanted to put something together that uh, felt like live theater, but obviously wasn't live theater. Um, we uh, decided to operate entirely online and uh, we launched our company at the beginning of September. We supply directors. Let's take a second um, to get back into the circumstances. We supply actors. I hate my job too. We have so much in common. And we facilitate a week long intensive for them to make edits, hear their work read out loud, have a director collaborate on the project with them. And then it all uh, culminates into this final reading at the end where we bring in respondents. One of them is a dramaturge. She's also a casting director. And then they get to uh, have a response session with these industry professionals and uh, hear feedback about the work that they've worked on all week. It ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the initial submissions. So when we launched the company, one of the things that we did was we had an open submissions period that lasted for the entirety of September. Um, the deadline was October 1st and we uh, had playwrights send us however many new works they felt they wanted to submit at the time. Um, and we received an overwhelming number of plays. We had over 300 playwrights send us brand new works and it was really amazing. The process is really unique in that it's able to be kind of tailored to what the playwright feels like they need from the piece. It's essentially a table work process. They do, you know, really in-depth readings of the piece and collaborate with the playwright on changes that might need to be made. At the end of every rehearsal, there's a response session that is had with the actors and the director and the playwright. Uh, we use the Liz Lerman response method um, to kind of give agency to the playwright to make sure that the process stays about them and is focused on the script rather than um, moving into like, virtual production land, which that's not really the aim of the program. At the end, they do essentially a staged reading of the piece. And uh, it's this uh, round, we're gonna have it actually open for public audiences. So the public can come in and view it if they like via Zoom. The playwright gets to hear their work read out loud through the lens of, you know, brand new actors and then and a director that they may or may not have worked with before. I will roll in dirt to prepare for this. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw dust at the screen when you need to. Why is new work important to you? New works are the future. It is important to take a look and put feelers out into our communities for stories that, you know, we may have never heard before and perspectives that may have been overlooked. Being able to look back and study the classics and, um, you know, the pieces that we've had around for years and years and years is incredibly important and I do see value in producing those plays. However, when you kind of sit in the same vein of like, oh, you know, we're gonna do Arthur Miller and Tennessee Williams and Shakespeare and all, you know, all of those plays and all of those playwrights, you kind of miss out on the richness that can be, you know, pulled from all of these brand new plays. The value in artists being able to work with people that have this brand new, sparkly, shiny, untouched thing is really incredibly valuable. We found that having audience, like having an audience there is actually very valuable for the playwright, especially when we have something like a comedy or things that people want to react to. Um, because ultimately the end goal of all of this is you want your play to be produced for people in person. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, you Thank can. you so much. Have a good night guys. Thank you.
So for our fall intensive, we kept the readings relatively closed, but this time around we have decided to open up uh, the readings via a public Zoom link. Uh, you'll be able to see that uh, on social media. It's gonna be all of the individual Zoom links for the individual readings are gonna be up on our Instagram page. And uh, we're inviting all of you, all of the audience members out there to come and watch what we have uh, put together for you. And when is that taking place? The final readings for the March intensive that we have coming up will be March 13th, March 20th, and March 27th. Um, keep an eye on the Instagram page and our Facebook page for uh, times and updates regarding the calendar for that. Because it's very um, poetic, theatrical, and the reason why for anyone that's interested in donating and supporting new works and supporting Garage Theater Ensemble, keep an eye out for our GoFundMe link. It is going to be available on our website and on our social media.